Hi friends, welcome to AK Electric YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see MCB trip test. First, let's see the principle of this test. Current will travel only in closed circuit. According to that, MCB or MCCB connections should be provided. Rated current or more than that, have to inject and confirm the trip time. Let's see the purpose of this test. It is used to confirm the proper function of MCB. It is used to check the trip characteristics of MCB according to design. Lastly, this test will also confirm the condition of MCB, whether there is any physical damage inside or outside of MCCB or MCB. In this slide, we will see the necessity of MCB trip test. In a circuit, when there is a normal operation, MCB will not trip. But if there is any short circuit or overload, then MCB must open the circuit in order to protect the equipment. As fault current comes due to short circuit or overload, MCB should open the circuit for that it will trip by trip mechanism activation. This trip mechanism has several characteristics according to design. For test the trip mechanism, we have to give more current to the MCB. For example, 2 times more than the rated current or even 5 times more than the rated current has to give to MCB for check the trip mechanism. MCCB mechanism types. Two types of tripping mechanism. One is thermal trip and another one is electromagnetic trip. How thermal trip and electromagnetic trip forms? Inside MCCB or MCB, there will be electromechanical parts like bimetallic strip, trip contacts, solenoid coils, etc. So, through bimetallic trips, thermal trip will occur, and through solenoid coils, magnetic trip will occur. Okay, let's see the nature of the trip. Thermal trip will occur due to overload, whereas electromagnetic trip will occur due to short circuit. Okay. This is the testing kit which is used for MCB trip test. Savarkar 780 from Maker Company. So here you can see the four terminal options. So from here you can inject the current. So if you connect from these two, you can inject up to 0 to 20 ampere. If you remove this cable and if you connect here, you can inject up to 0 to 40 ampere. If you remove this cable and if you connect here, you can inject up to 100 ampere. So suppose if you want to inject 30 ampere, you should remove this cable and you should connect here. And after that, you have to rotate this knob up to 30. So once you this white mark is reached here, the display will show here 30 ampere. So this cable once connected to MCB poles, you can just start this one. So current will start injecting that 30 ampere will inject to MCB. Once MCB trip, again this uh, red LED from on plus time, it will come to off. So you can note your MCB trip time seconds here. So it is a widely used kit for MCB trip test. So here the test kit earth option. Before starting any test, you should hear the test kit here. So, okay. Next, this is another testing kit which is used for MCB trip test called CPC 100. This is the front side portion and you will get the side portion will be here. This side portion I have shown here. Here up to 800 ampere AC you can inject for MCB. So this 800 ampere, these two cables should connect to the MCB poles. So here you can see the quick option if you select this if you press this quick option there the mcb trip test main page will open here from here you can select whatever current you want to inject whether it is 100 ampere or 200 ampere or 300 ampere you can select after selecting you just press this one mcb will trip according to trip characteristics so you can get here how much current injected and how much in which in which time MCB trip everything you will get come here so this is also good testing kit which is used for MCB trip test now let's see the MCB testing procedure before start testing one should remove all external cables which is connected in MCB after confirming that MCB has no power two times switch on and off the MCB also check the continuity for each pole if suppose the MCB current rating is 32 ampere then one should inject three times of the rated current for testing that is 96 ampere according to shown diagram connection should be given for three pole mcb switch on the cpc 100 from quick option one can select main page for testing the mcb there one can select up to 800 ampere 
for testing the MCB. As we have to inject only 96 ampere, we can select exactly 96 ampere from the CPC 100. Before start testing, one have to know tripping time of MCB from the tripping curve of particular MCB. Now start the test. According to tripping curve, MCB will trip. Trip time should be noted. Once again, MCB should be on and off to ensure MCB's proper function. After test gets completed, MCB continuity should be confirmed and removed cables should be connected back to the according to scheme. Okay. Here I have shown you the test connections very clearly. First you have to make jumper from white face to blue face like this and downside you have to make jumper cable from R face to white face like this and CPC 100 test kit should be earth like here and as we injecting AC current this is phase and this is neutral so phase cable should be connected to R phase of MCB top side and neutral cable should connect to blue phase of MCB down side like this so MCB handle if it is in upside it indicates that MCB in on condition if suppose this handle is in downside it indicate the MCB is in off condition if this handle is in intermediate position then it indicates that MCB is tripped so like this you have to give connections so current circulation will be like this so it will enter the MCB in R phase like this through this jumper cable from this terminal to this terminal current will pass and again the current will pass from this terminal to this terminal like this and again it will leave the MCB in this way and it will enter the test kit like this so the closed circuit will be like this okay I hope you understand very clearly now I will show you the actual current photos inside so this is how jumper cable in actual site we have to make this R phase to Y phase you have to make a jumper like this and Y phase to blue phase you have to make jumper cable like this and this cable should be connected to the testing kit phase side and this cable should connect to the testing kit neutral side so current circulation will be like this so this like this current will go and it will go through the red cable like this and it will forms the closed circuit okay i hope this will be very clear to you how the jumper cable should be made for current circulation so this is three pole mcb which is 32 ampere mcb okay now we have to find the tripping time for this MCB so this MCB is 32 ampere as you can see here the selection is this 32 ampere it indicates so we have to find the tripping time for this MCB so this is the tripping curve sheet for this model it is TM 32 D so so see here this is all here indicate that TM 32 D so we are going to inject three times of the rated current that is 32 ampere here then three times means it is about 96 so we can roundly inject 100 ampere so three times means in downside we have to see where is three suppose here one two three four it will be like this so we are injecting three times so this three we have to follow this line mark we have to follow and go where it reaches the curve so it touches the curve here so it is phi okay now the trip time starts from phi okay again we have to follow this third line mark so again it touches here so it comes around 80 because it is 550 to 100 so our curve touches here that that is here so this breaker will be tripped between 5 to 80 seconds when you injecting three times of the rated current that is 96 ampere okay so I have shown you very clearly here. So I have already marked for your better understanding. So see here, this touches here, that is five seconds and it ends here, that is 80 seconds. So our breaker is 32 ampere, three pole MCB. We are injecting three times of the rated current, that is 100 ampere. So the trip time, that is five to 80 seconds. So our breaker is already tripped by 60 seconds. So it matches the curve. So like this we have to 
find the tripping time for all type of MCBs. So here I have marked cold state and hot state. One can get confused what is cold state and what is hot state. Suppose if an MCB is DNA condition for one day or two day, first time if you are going to test that is cold test. So when you are testing the first time, the tripping time will be more. About it will take 60 to 80 seconds because it is first time energized. So if suppose MCB is already energized and already it is in service condition, you are going to test that MCB, then that will be come under hot state. So for that MCB, your tripping time will be less. That will be come under 5 to 10 seconds or even 10 to 20 seconds. So this is the difference between cold state and hot state. Okay. So if you inject three times, your tripping time will be 5 to 80 seconds. If you inject four times, then your tripping time will be less like this. Then if you are injecting seven times, then your tripping time will be again less. If you injecting more 10 times, then your tripping time will be less. So one can also notice from the curve that as injecting current increases, tripping time will also decreases. Okay. So now I have shown here four pole MCB test connections. So this is our test kit. So here I have selected from zero to 100 ampere selection. So, so see here, Y to B, I have been jumper cable I have connected. And here you see, again, I have made a jumper cable from here to here and again from here to here. So current circulation will be from like this. From here it will come and it will again, it will go like this and it will, again, it will like this. And this through this jumper cable current will pass. And again, from this terminal, this jumper cable current will pass like this and it will close in like this. So this is how MCB trip test will be done. I hope this video is informative to everyone. If you like this video, subscribe, like and click the bell icon. Thank you.